Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj, and welcome back to City State. And I think this is going to be our final part of City State, because I think we get the gist of how it works. I think we know how it's all going to go with you building your city bits, and you leave your trees so up your land value, and you leave the mountains, and you build farm bits to get your food up, and all that kind of stuff. We know how the city building bit works, and we know that to get the issues, which I believe are the sort of the main crux of this game, takes an awfully long time. It takes a well, perhaps around two years, maybe just shy of that, maybe something like 20 months or something between issues coming up, which I think is a bit slow. I think it's a little bit slow. So I think what we'll do is our aim for today for this final part will be to build up enough population to get an arcology in. Now, if we unpause the game, yes, we can see there are four arcologies and the first one unlocks at 50k. And the only reason I want an arcology in is because arcologies were in SimCity 2000, which reminds me of this game. Well, this game reminds me of SimCity 2000. And yeah, arcologies were in that, so I want to get that unlocked. However, there is an issue for us to deal with right now. So let's go straight in. So, should the government help students with their loans? Students can only borrow money from private banks, grant low interest rate loans to students from a public fund, grant scholarships to students from low income families, or cover all university fees for students with a public fund. Okay, so the first one sounds a little bit mean, doesn't it? It's like, you want to learn? No, tough. You've got no money to learn go to a proper bank. So yeah, that one I don't like the idea of. That's going to be ridiculously expensive. The other one, cover everyone's university fees with the public fund. How much is that going to be? Oh, good grief. That's expensive. That one will just do nothing. That gives us money, in fact. Uh, that one is grant low interest rate loans. I'm quite tempted with that at the minute. Quite tempted with that. Or do we go for that? Grant scholarships to students from low income families. Now, our education is quite high as it is. So I wonder what that's going to do. Grant scholarships to students from low-income families. I would expect there to be a boost to our lower demand thing there, then, if I do this, which is what I'm going to do. 354, so it costs quite a lot. So if we do that, so the lower-income population don't like the fact that we're supporting the low-income families. Now, that doesn't make sense to me. I would have thought, given that I'm granting scholarships to students from low-income families, the lower income population would have been quite happy with that because I'm granting them scholarships and helping them out. Whereas the middle income and the higher income would have gone, oh, that's a bit rubbish. I I would I would argue this. I would say that is wrong. I would say this is a wrong effect on population growth. I don't think that's the right thing that should have happened there. But whatever the case, there we go. It did happen. Okay, so that was <laughs> that's probably the wrong decision. And now, as we've seen, because I haven't got all of these things that will be under health and education, because I haven't got all of these, I can't change that. I can't change these. So this policy here that I set 30 years ago, not allowed to change whichever one it was, one of these legally worked hours. No, no, not allowed to change that because it's 30 years old. It might be incorrect. It might be wrong, but I'm not allowed to change it, which is also something else that I disagree with. Um, also, someone else has pointed out <laughs> at the start, at the start of this series, like, well, I don't want to be communist. So that communists are bad, aren't they? Uh, I, down here, I've become the Socialist People's Republic of Pangea, which is that is the Socialist People's Republic the same as what China? No, the China is Democratic People's Republic, isn't it? Or is that Korea? I don't know. But a Socialist People's Republic, it, it doesn't sound very democratic to me, but whatever the case. So what we're going to do is we shall build this area up, I think. We shall build this area up just here. So it's got a few sort of bits worked over here. So we'll build a road maybe straight across there, see what that's like. And uh, yeah, turn this into sort of uh, residentially kind of areas with parks and stuff and nice forested areas and stuff to keep the land value high. And uh, yeah, we'll come back if there's an issue or if I get that done first. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be an issue pop up because that's going to take me quite a long time. Let's just see what there is worth getting. So the jungle isn't really worth anything. However, there is some good iron prospects. Certainly those, there's five quite good iron, six good iron, seven. Okay, there's quite a lot of good iron prospects like that one. So we'll get these. Yeah, so let's drill that. Yeah, so we'll go and get, we'll get some iron in. We'll sort all these out as much as we can. And then we'll clear the thing, clear it all down, make it a nice sort of residential kind of area with great big mines in the middle of it. And uh, yeah, we'll come back when this is done or there is an issue for us to handle. Ah, okay, right, an issue has arisen, so I'm just working on this bit. This bit's all been sorted. I've got a few mines in here. There's nothing over here particularly. So they are slowly moving in. No, no one's moving in, in fact, but it does take a little while for them to sort of kick in and move in. Right, the next issue is greenhouse gas standards. To what extent 
Should the government encourage lower carbon emission? No government support. Okay, we're not going to go for that. I would like to keep the world alive a little bit. Additional tax on polluting industries. Impose taxes on all individual and corporate gas emitters. Or severe regulation for all industries emitting air pollutants. Ban polluting vehicles. Okay, that... That gives us 349, the very bottom one, the most severe one. Imposing taxes gives us 349. Additional tax on polluting industries is 175, and no government support is obviously nothing. I quite like the idea of this. Severe regulation for all industries emitting air pollutants ban polluting vehicles. So, yeah, if there's some ridiculous vehicle that's kicking out massive loads of fumes, yes, ban that. I think that's good, and it gives us some money as well. It gives us actual money. So, yes, why the heck not? Yes, and lower income is good. We want lower. Now, our, our economy has kind of collapsed a little bit. I don't really understand this. So, the lower economy, they should be now coming through. That that should affect the population. So, that should go up, I think, possibly. I don't really know. So, I'd like some people to move in over here. Ah, good, right. People are moving in over there. Good. So, the population should go. Now, I think, has the population actively gone down since I started doing this? It might well have gone down. Okay, fine. So I might have to work that out. It might be the taxes. Might be the taxes are a bit high. We need some more gold. Gold is quite a nice money spinner thing. I'm still a bit confused as to why oil isn't worth more. Because oil surely is worth an awful lot. Some kind of jungles around there. Is there a lot in there? No. Up here, however, looks very gold heavy. Maybe we'll go and mine all that and get some gold out of it. That might be a good plan. We'll go and do that. Then we'll build rows later on. It doesn't particularly matter. Okay, right. Uh, issue dealt with. Let's go back to zoning this bit out with actual sort of houses and stuff. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we'll come back when the next issue arises. Ah, an issue has arisen and our quality of life has dropped somewhat dramatically to fair, which is probably not a good sign. Okay. I mean, all those things are quite good. Environment is going down. Now, I am trying... I mean, obviously, I have to, I have to advance in order to... Uh, uh, destroy the environment in order to build so i'm not entirely sure how to keep environment up i don't really know what to do to keep environment up i'm not sure okay let's deal with this issue the precautionary principle i don't know what that is please explain should public policies restrict the introduction of a new product when its ultimate effects are not fully known okay right what so should public policy, so should we put something in place to restrict the introduction of a new product? Okay, new product coming in when its ultimate effects are not fully known. Okay, uh, right, so you're going to release something. You don't know entirely what it does, but it might be a good idea. Do we release it? No restriction. Industrialists can be trusted. Their brand image is at stake. New products have to be certified by a third party private institute. All new products have to be certified by a public institute. Sensitive industries are regulated extensively. A new product cannot be authorised when its potential effects are disputed or not fully known. Okay. How about we have them certified by a public institute? Sensitive industries are regulated extensively. I think that is a nice middle ground between saying, no, you can never do anything until we analyse everything absolutely, utterly, excruciatingly in detail, to a case of, nah, I don't care, whatever, do what you like. What is it? A mega pollutatron? Okay, fine, yeah, the mega pollutatron will be fine, I'm absolutely sure. So yeah, we, maybe we won't go down that route either. So yeah, this, this one seems like quite a nice sort of middle ground. Lower income should grow, middle income should fall a little bit, and higher income do not give a monkey's either way. Okay, so whilst we've been destroying the environment, which is why this is coming down, I assume, I'm still trying to get our statistics up, our sort of numbers up, our people up. I just can't, I can't get the numbers to increase that much. I don't know what to do. I mean, I've got the immigration thing on, on high. It's on very, very high up. So I don't know what else to do. I'm a little bit confused, and our money our cash flow is coming right down look at it is dropping ridiculously and i've put loads of gold things in i've done lots of gold mining i've done an awful lot of things so i'm not really sure what else to do i don't know but look the economy thing oh there we go it's creeping back actually middle is indeed creeping back this is sort of our trade sort of thing isn't it and it's not going very well but yeah okay that's that's crawling itself back a little bit that's absolutely fine okay so let's put some of these in there. Let's plop some more of these into place. Yep. Let's drop one of the little parks into the middle. That one will suffice. Let's do that. Then let's put some uh, middle, some, some medium density housing across like that. And at the end here, let's have some high density stuff just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's that's junglist. That's junglist massive. Get rid of that. 
pop in one of those. Okay, so that might help. Well, yeah, the population is going up a little tiny bit. Okay, right, what I might do is I'm just going to hurry time on. I'm going to run time on until the next issue and just see what's going on. Now, our cash flow is... Our cash flow has fallen somewhat dramatically, and I don't really know why it's fallen away as much as it has. Why has that collapsed? Why am I losing money? I don't really understand. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm losing money. I was earning money. I've got more people in. Ah, it's so confusing. It's very confusing. Running a country is not a simple thing. So if I were to drop some of these, it would make money. So if I were to drop uh, sort of budget for education or healthcare or security and justice, then yeah, that would be fine. What if I added two to that? One, two, one, two. Dropped two, dropped two, and then dropped two for that. How about that? How does that equate into the cash flow scheme of things? Uh, it, it's still terrible. It's still terrible. It still doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so we're making 3,848 on our imports. Uh, no, on our trade, sorry. We're importing 100. That's not very much at all. That's absolutely fine. So exports, we're exporting absolutely loads, predominantly gold. Spending a bit on food, getting a bit from iron and not very much from oil at all. Legislation is actually very expensive. And that is the frustrating thing. You can't go through and change that now. So if I've looked and I thought, do you know what it is? It's the working hours thing or it's the polluting cars thing. I want to change that because I'm losing loads of money. I now can't change it, which is, I will admit, a bit irritating. I'll go with that. It's a bit annoying. Also, I'm not entirely sure we're going to get anywhere near the um, 50,000 population required for an arcology without completely destroying that environment score. But I don't know how I'm supposed to get people in. I don't know how I'm supposed to get 50,000 people without kind of destroying the environment because I need to build on it. I need to build on things in order for it to advance. So I don't really know what to do. I'm going to do a bit of an experiment here. A little bit of an experiment. There's some places. What if I go like that and put a load of trees just over the way from those guys? Does that up the environment score any? Seemingly, uh, no. <laughs> if anything, it went down. <laughs> it went down. Oh, good. And now I'm losing 500, almost. Yeah, now I'm losing 500 every, what, month? Oh, okay. We're going to be in, in some financial difficulty very shortly. And I don't really know what to do to change that. I would go through and change the legislation, but I can't do that. There's nothing really for me to do except adjust these numbers here. Which is a little bit piffly. Bonds. I mean, we could issue a bond. But that's like a loan. I don't really need a loan. Okay, another issue. Maybe this will save us. Uh, should we regulate private educational institutions? Okay, well, they should certainly be equal to the, the public ones in terms of what they're being tested on. Private schools are free to operate for all levels without any limitations. Allowed to operate for secondary and post-secondary levels only within a given pedagogy. Pedagogic, pedagogical, pedagogical. I, I don't know what that word is. It's a new, shiny new word. I don't know what that is. Within a given whatever one of those things is framework, that's going to be hard for me to judge because I don't know what a given pedagogical framework is. It does look like someone just fell on the keyboard. Allowed to operate for post-secondary courses only and subject to the national curriculum. Yes, now you're talking. I like the sound of this. All schools and universities are only run and fully controlled by the state. No, I quite like that. I quite like that. You're allowed to operate for post-secondary courses only and you're subject to the national curriculum. So you're subject to the same curriculum that everybody else is. So when you go for jobs and stuff, it's kind of all going to be equal. Yeah, let's do that. So uh, the effects on the budget. <laughs> oh, this is going terribly wrong. Middle-income people are uh, happy with that. Low-income people not so not so overjoyed. And how's it affecting the budget? 1244, 1258. GDP is minus naught. Oh, GDP is nothing. Is that good? <gasps> GDP is 0.39. This is positive. This is good news. This is this means money is coming in, doesn't it? Does this mean that money is coming in now? Because our GDP is higher. So middle, middle sort of tier people, middle are coming in. This is this is this is good, right? I mean, it's not stopping the money absolutely spiraling away into nothing, but that's good. Is that good? I'm spending quite a lot on roads, aren't I? Quite a lot on roads. Okay, well. Let's sit then. Let's sit and just wait until the next thing comes along. And let's see, let's see if I've gone broke by then. Because it's going to be a couple of years. It normally is. So probably year 38 at some point that the next issue will come along. And we shall see if I have any money remaining at all by that point. Or if the uh, the city state of, of Pangea is going to go into some sort of financial crash disaster type of situation. 
Do you know, I'm at a population at 46,000, but it's kind of petered out at 46. Oh no, it's going up a little bit. Uh, we have another issue. So what's this? Labor law. Should our labor law regulate more extensively work contracts and relationships between employees and employers? Oh, this is getting into very deep stuff. Corporations are free to elaborate their own contracts as long as they are signed by the two parties and are duly fulfilled. Okay, well that seems fair. All work contracts must follow maximum work hours and grant holidays, pregnancy and illness leaves. Yes, all of the above plus minimum wage, termination rights and retirement plans. Our labour law should prohibit termination and grant extensive rights to all employees with mandatory trade unions. Okay, I don't, the first one probably didn't sound too bad, but yes, it means a corporation could do whatever it likes. So it could say, we're going to employ you for tuppence an hour and uh, no holiday, no leave, no maternity, anything. You're not allowed to be ill, and if you are, we'll fire from a cannon into the sea. So we don't want to do that one. This one here, however, seems a little bit too extreme. Mandatory trade union. So I don't kind of want all this kind of stuff. Maybe this, all of the above, plus minimum wage, termination rights, and retirement plans. I quite like that. So you're saying, right, you have to have all this stuff, all these exciting things with that. Yeah, let's do that. So middle income should go up and the others aren't too bothered. That was actually probably a pretty good thing. Right. I had to fiddle with the taxes and stuff to make our popular, uh, make our balance stick a little bit. To make our balance not plummet too low because we've only got 23 grand. And the annoying thing is I might be able to get an arcology if the population goes up and then I won't be able to actually build one. So I'll unlock it at 50k. I just won't be able to actually then place one down because it's $15,000. So that could be irritating. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. But yeah, our money is absolutely plummeted. You know what, actually? Let's put the taxes up a bit more and see. Uh, yeah, we're not, I don't think we're gonna get even to 50,000. I don't think it's possible. We shall try our best. I'll try my best. Oh, 46.5. Okay, no, we're, maybe we are slowly, slowly getting there. Uh, it's just a case of not being able to do much. Like now, look, I can't, I, I simply can't do anything else. I've got nothing else to do. I'm just sat here waiting for the um, for the next action to come along. I can't do anything. I've got no power. I've got no influence. I can't change any of my existing legislation. I just simply cannot change it, which I think is a massive, a massive problem in a game all about the legislation. And it takes too long. It takes too long to get here, and I, I, you can't change it when it is here. Like this, look, I wanted to, what if I want to change these now? What if I want to alter some of these? What if I don't want a national space exploration program? Unlock Space Center. What? Where? Where is the space centre? Show me where the space centre is on this diagram somewhere. Is it one of these? City, Solari City, uh, an eco-terrorist. Oh, I've, I've obliterated the environment down to hardly anything, which means I've unlocked a nice thing. Um, I, do you know what? It's a bit harsh. I've got a third of the island utterly untouched. I'm not quite sure why the environment score is that low when a third of the whole island is is not got anything on it and there's lovely forests and things and stuff everywhere but okay fine i'm an eco terrorist now yay the communist ah there we go i've become the communist people's republic <laughs> yay go communism i told you communism was a way to go when i started this i told you that was the best way okay another issue we are creeping up forty-eight thousand. okay what's this issue maybe this issue will help because our money is absolutely <laughs> falling okay to what extent should we provide unemployment benefits? Oh no, this is going to hit me hard, isn't it? Oh dear. No unemployment benefits. Allowance of 50% of the last salary during three months. Allowance of 75% of the last salary during 12 months. Or a fixed and universal amount during 18 months and 75% of it thereafter. That is too expensive. That will make me bankrupt in about three months or whatever. That's very expensive. That's very expensive. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Um, in terms of what I want to do right now, I probably would pick one of the middle two. Probably that one, but that's too expensive. I don't earn that anyway. I've got no, I've got no money. I'm going to go bankrupt before I get to the arcology thing. It's a race. It's a race to see whether we get to 50,000 population first or we go bankrupt. Uh, however, we're going to go bankrupt because I'm going to do this. It's the allowance of 50% of the last salary during three months. Right, approve that. Yep, so lower income people are happy with it. And now, uh, we have. What's that mean? The Socialist People's Republic. Okay. Yes, hello. 49,569. Why have you just splodged that on the screen in front of me? Thanks. Right, up the taxes for everybody. Da, 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 da. There we go. Lots of taxes up. 
Yay, we've made some money. And we've got 50,000. We've got 50,000 people. 50,140, 50,146. Which means we can, in theory, build one of these. But now, I don't have the money to build one of those. So I'm going to wait around now. I'm going to wait. Oh, it says, Achievement Unlocked Chaos. Have I done some chaos? Have I made some chaos happen? That's exciting. Where's some chaos? Can I watch some chaos? It doesn't look as chaotic as I thought it might do, to be perfectly honest. I thought it might be slightly more manic than just normal. But okay, fine. So you're saying it's chaos. That's good. Uh, yeah, so let's wait until I get to $15,000. We'll build an arcology and then I think we'll call it a day. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got it. Look, as long as I have reached that city size... I can then build this thing. Now I've got that far, so yeah, I can, in a couple of months, I'll be able to build the Arcology. In fact, maybe next month, possibly, if it comes to it. Oh, j just. Okay, here we go then. Let's build, it's one tile wide. I thought they'd be massive great things. Okay. Okie doke. Well, do you know what? Let's build it there, overlooking the river. And I think this will do. This will this will finish our playthrough quite nicely. So let's just drop Oak City in then. Uh, Bosch. Oak City. Oh, it looks very cool. Okay, so you've got like a ring here. Let's come out of that. No, I don't want that. Got us a ring of something there. Come out. I don't want any of these things. Click the trade window or something. A thing there. There's uh, some sort of weird platform there. But they could go diving off that into the sea. I don't know. And then a weird thing at the top. It looks like a thing you get in a pizza box that they put in the middle to stop the box lid crushing your pizza toppings. So one of those. A pizza box lid house. That's what that is. Um, and I can't click it to get any more information out of it. Oh no, there we go. What's this then? Arcology. Nobody lives there. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I'm glad I built one of those at great expense and crippled my economy. Come on, let's get to say November or something and see what happens. Has anyone moved in? No. Why has no one moved in? Why has nobody moved into the lovely arcology that I've built you? I've just built this shiny, amazing building. Look at it. Look how amazing the building is. It's shiny. It's got a pizza thing on the top. You're over a lake. You're overlooking a lake and some mountains. It's, it, it's, it's prime location. That's prime real estate. Why has no one moved in? Oh, I don't know. My economy is absolutely tanking. Look. Yeah, you know what? This seems like a good place. <laughs> good place to leave this, doesn't it? I'm going to leave it while I've still got some money and people don't all hate me. So, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yep, yeah, the population is falling because people are leaving because it's too expensive to live here anymore and nobody has still moved into the expensive arcology that we just built. 1,500 people can live in there. Why isn't one person in there? Not one. Not a single person. Not even a single person just looked at it and thought, yeah, what might live in that amazingly futuristic kind of mega building. Nah, that's right. I'll go and live over here. I'll go over here and live in this sort of scabrous yard. Uh, okay, do you know what? For old time's sake, let's do let's do the final issue then. Detention and rehabilitation. How should criminals be dealt with in the justice system? Criminals are required to perform penal labour for their time in detention in private jails. Okay, like gulags or something, right? Prisoners are all assigned to private jails. Prisoners are assigned to public jails. Prisoners are assigned to public jails and all of them are integrated to rehabilitation program. That's going to be very expensive. That's still a bit expensive. That makes us some money. Yeah, private jails. But socialists, is that what they would do? Is that what a socialist would do? I don't really know. I don't know what a socialist is. Clearly I am one because I've built this People's Republic full of socialists. I don't really know what one is. Now really, I'd pick that. 482. Do you know what? We've got enough money for it now. No one's going to live here anyway. So 482 estimated cost. Prisoners are assigned to public jails and all of them are integrated into the rehabilitation program. Yes. Do that. Nobody really cares. The freedom index goes up or something. And let's have a look then at my final stats there. My, <laughs> my pub... Oh, oh, hang on. What? My public approval rate is nothing. So my approval rate is... No Oh, 37%. That's a bit better than zero. So 37%. Fertility rate is not, is zero. Okay. I find that unlikely, but okay. I don't know quite what's going on here then. This infertile land. The freedom index is 32.5. I've got no idea what that is. Is that good? Should it be in the hundreds? Should it be higher? Should it be lower? I don't know. Population growth. Yes, we know it's falling. Civil rights. Again, it's a number that I don't know what it is. Uh, we've got no lifestyle people of any kind. Lots of people seem to have got philosophy, but nothing else. There's no hipsters anymore. Nah, no, farewell. Farewell. R.I.P. hipsters. 
Um, some people are taking to drink. There's a little bit of suicide going on and the smoking rate has certainly come down since I started. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, the, the low income people have got tax effects. Yeah, there's lots of tax effects on people, isn't there? The growth rates are quite low, particularly in high income people because we're taxing the pants off them. In fact, have we got any high? No, look. There's no high income people living here at all. Not not a single one. What if we dropped that to say eight? Would that bring people in? That's interesting, isn't it? Does that haul people back in? How intriguing. I don't know, does it? Still no, still no. Okay, let's let's move time on for another month. Let's just do a little experiment. September through to it's very slow to move on. October. So a month has gone by. Has that brought anyone in? No. <laughs> There is not one single high income earner in our entire, entire country. Okay, right. I think that might be where it's possibly gone wrong as well. But um, yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think we stop. I'm just trying to wait. For, I'm yabbering for, to go to December. Come on, go to December. Go a bit quicker. You're very slow. Still none. Okay, doke. There we go. Right. And I think we'll call it a day there. I think we know what we're doing with City State. There it is. I, I like the idea of it in principle. I just think it needs work. I just think it needs work. As I have said many times, these are too slow to appear and I want to change them once I've picked them. I don't know why. The legislation may be changed once all the issues have been answered. Then ask me them. Then ask me them, please, because now I can't do anything. And it's at the top. There is a note when this one here goes away. Uh, hi, tutorial. Yes. Oh, not that tutorial. Another note appeared that said, oh, there is uh, some social inequality or something. Try and redress the balance or something. So, well, I can't. I can't redress the balance because I can't change anything. I can't make any changes to this whole city-state until all these things are unlocked. But at that point, we might have crashed and got burnt and got, gone horribly wrong. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in order to make these balances that you're asking me to do. So yeah, I, I quite like it. I like the I like the sort of visual style there. I think where everyone's going to say it, but the SimCity 2000-esque visual style. The city builder bit, I think, needs a little bit more work just to add more things in. Just to add a little bit more in, just to make it a little bit more varied. Maybe you could add like public transport type buildings. Yeah, I know you pick a policy thing for it in here. But you know, something like that, or just an emergency services bit, or a shopping area, or like maybe just split up into like old SimCity did commerce or something. So have commerce and housing and stuff like that. I don't know. I just think it needs a little bit of work. I like the idea of it. I just think it needs a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of boot polish applied to it to make it somewhat better. But yeah, so we shall leave this behind. And yeah, I dropped the tax rate for the for the higher income people. So now there are a few in. <laughs> Some come in. There's 410 of them. And they're only paying 2% tax. So I don't quite know if that's very good. But there we go. So this is Pangea. And we're going to leave it behind in a fairly, fairly rubbish state. Although the upper uh, economy thing is actually now growing, as you would expect. Because the tax is really, really low. So people are going to come in and think, oh low tax rate. I'm going to go there. So we're going to leave it for now. There we go. In fact, you know what? Let's pause it. We're going to leave it for there. We shall leave the city state of Penja and it can do its thing. It can do its thing. We can all imagine that people are all living here and uh, I'm making some excellent decisions. No, not me. I'm retiring. I'm running off. I'm stealing all the money and legging it out to Cuba or something. Uh, so we'll leave someone in charge. So the person in charge can look after all the residents and they shall all be absolutely fine. I am sure. But for now, we are going to say farewell. So if you have enjoyed this video or the series as a whole, then please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Quick, just spray and pray, spray and pray. Quick, kill them. Quick, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the money. No, no, this is bad. This is, this is, this is very bad. Fire, kill them with fire. The zombies carry around a lot of loose cash, don't they? I'm gonna be all right for that now. Now I know what I'm doing. There's too much going on. I don't know what to do. Oh god, I've run out of everything. <laughs>